what motivates people to pursue excellence? Most highly successful people, if not all of them, all of the ones I studied are a little bit, if not a lot, perfectionistic. They have high standards, but their high standards are achievable. So you don't want your standards to be so high that you can never meet them because what happens when you don't meet a standard? You experience shame. And in, if you can get through that, that's fine. But high but achievable standards, all of them had. They tend to be perfectionistic. They tend to be a bit compulsive, if you want to call them that, driven. It's interesting. There's, there's been papers written about uh, people who are highly driven to achieve and pursue excellence and uh, have high standards. So many of them have a childhood where there's a lot of shame that they wanted to avoid. And so in a way, the pursuit of excellence is a way for us to compensate, to make it better, or to try to make it better that as though achieving or consuming or having something is going to erase the sins of the past or your parents' sins or some flaw. It's not a bad thing, but it's something to understand. And high achievers, many of them have that. I, it comes to mind like some people who would like to make their um, their father proud and you know they're a multi-millionaire and says dad what do you think of that and then the father would say something like well you, this paint color is wrong I mean, it's like, <laughs> right. you know, what do you think of the mansion well, I don't right. like that paint color <laughs> exactly so I was speaking with somebody just recently all he wanted was his his father's approval and he thought that if he made enough money his father would finally give him the love and approval he wanted. And he was so annoyed that his father still couldn't give him that approval. And just like you said, might criticize something else. And so we talked about, well, what is it you really want? You want, you want your father's love. And I said, next time you see him, and this guy is in his 40s, next time you see him, why don't you give your father a hug? Because you said your father has never hugged you. And maybe your father needs to learn how to hug, even at this late age. And so the next time he went home to visit his dad, he gave him a big hug. And he said, Dad, I just want to hug you because I've never hugged you. The dad loved it. And the dad opened up. So sometimes we have to step forward because we become so compelled to push for what we want, we can't see what's right in front of our eyes.